What do you consider as your journey as a young woman scientist? Honestly, I wanted to be a scientist uh, since my childhood. I don't know, I wanted to be a historian, uh, I wanted to start archaeology or chemistry. Uh, but after school, yeah, I started to learn uh, history. Um, and after I graduated to uh, university and I decided to change my path. Um, honestly, because I concentrated on uh, contemporary history and I suppose that the topic of my research would be better uh, to, um, it would be better yeah, to analyze the topic of my research through the methods of political sciences. That is why I started to write my PhD in political science. And yeah, I finished it and I worked at the Department uh, for European Political Studies uh, in the Institute of World Economy, International Relations, Russian Academy of Sciences. So what do you consider some of the cha were the challenges or still are challenges that you face as a young woman scientist? Oh, one of them is, uh, I suppose, um, some people faced it. You know, um, I had, a, I can tell, a dark time uh, after the... Uh, after I graduated my university, it's pretty difficult, you know, you don't understand what should you do, you don't understand yourself at the end. Because you was a student, what should you do, yeah? What is your main ideas? And I had a terrible imposter syndrome, I didn't understand uh, if I uh, chosen a right way uh, to study political sciences. So I suppose that uh, Young students and young uh, women, generally, we shouldn't give up, give up in such a, I don't know, dark time for us when we feel that we are not good for our job, for our path. Uh, the second challenge, you know, it's more, I suppose, for women, for women scientists. You know, for us, I suppose um, that Sometimes we have so-called imposter syndrome. We are not so. We could be too shy yeah, to express our opinion, especially to express our assessment. Uh, we had fear to be judged. Uh, we wanted to be pretty. We want to be very sure in our, you know, assumption. And I can notice that our male colleagues. They are more courage yeah, to express their opinion and sometimes they could be also uh, be taken more seriously at first glance, yeah, at first sight. So I suppose that for us, especially for young women, it's very important yeah, to be, yeah, to fight, uh, to struggle with our imposter syndrome. What uh, message or messages would you convey to ensure the next generation of women in science? Ah, first of all, I do happy that we see a lot of women in science. It, uh, a lot of women in science. It's great, honestly. And I suppose that, uh, um, yeah, I would like to tell what I have previously said. Yeah, that we shouldn't be so shy. We shouldn't be. Um, we shouldn't struggle with our fears. Yeah, we shouldn't be more confident. Yeah, sometimes people judge us, yeah, they think that, okay, it's such a young girl, sorry, I have heard it a lot, <laughs> oh, this young girl, and um, so don't give up, yeah, don't be shy, always express your opinion, also if you think, oh, I'm not so sure, or people could think that I'm an imposter, people could think that I'm not good enough, that I'm too young to tell something, so don't think about that. Always tell what you want, yeah, and struggle with all of your fears. 